what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be doing an install i wanted the first video of the year to be an install video because i know it's been a little while since we've been doing like a consistent amount of installs so in this video if you guys couldn't tell by the title we're going to be installing an air to oil separator in the is250 which is perfect for these because these are not port injected and that means that uh, oh, a, a little too much oil from the PCV valve is getting into the engine which will mess up with the combustion which will mess up with your horsepower and so we don't want that and it also helps to prevent a lot of carbon buildup in the intake manifold and etc etc so um, RR Racing said that they have done their testing uh, at the track and that is something that they found out that was an issue and now i know we're not tracking this car i know we've never even taken this car to the track but they also had mentioned that if you are one to drive your car a little bit hard on the streets almost like as if it was on the track which kind of is what i do then this would be a good idea to prevent carbon buildup which these cars are somewhat known for so um I'm super excited to kind of open this up with you guys so let me go ahead and get the box real quick and uh, we'll open it up and we'll see what we got in it and uh, before I wanted to mention to you guys I was supposed to upload this video last week I know it's been almost three weeks since my last upload um, but um, the reason for that is because I personally caught COVID and uh, I've been going through the ringer with it since last week the first couple days were absolute horrible i was going through so many different symptoms at, at one time i literally thought i was like dying for one mo from one small little moment i was in my bed i couldn't get out but i had a lot of help from my friends and family i really appreciate all you guys that uh, reached out to me on social media when i had uh let that out and if you guys are following me on social media be sure you guys help go ahead on the description and hit that link to follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, or whatever it may be. Um, I always make sure that the information gets out there first before anywhere else. So just throwing that out there. But yeah, so I couldn't just I couldn't wait to install this. I was thinking the whole time I was sick. I was like, man, I really just want to install this. I want to work on my car. There's no one really home and no one around right now i figure i need some sun i haven't been outside in days so uh yeah just be sure you guys are safe out there because uh this little wave omicron delta variants or whatever is actually pretty serious so let's go ahead and open up this box and see what our racing had sent us i just wanted to kind of like show you guys a little bit of what like the first bit of instruction says and it just basically explains the purpose of the of this oil to air, air to oil separator system. I went and scanned through most of the instructions. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do it again, considering just that's just the way I work. So this is everything that it comes with. This is the main part right here. This uh, might have to bend this a little bit when putting this in. I believe I watched a couple other videos and everyone has said that. So let's look inside of here and see where we're going to be actually placing it. take this off ugly ass cover all right so I believe and we're missing a bolt too unless that's what they gave us that one for so okay in the instructions it mentions that if I don't know why we're all missing this bolt you guys but it's really weird that we all are a lot of us are missing this bolt right here i, I want let me see if you guys can see it so right here there's supposed to be a bolt and that's where the other uh that's where you're supposed to bolt to that on one side and then the other side is going to be under here we're going to need to like take this down so we can kind of get into here but it's supposed to slide into here and then um we're supposed to bolt it down right there and then we got to take off the pcv valve hose and we got to 
redirect it into the left side of the oil separator so it go over here and then the other side will go back into where the intake manifold is at and that's basically how it gets installed now clearly it's such a small area that um it's gonna be a little tight i'm gonna try to record as best as i can um especially on the process on how i'm gonna be getting it done so uh bear with me uh i only got two hands and uh I need a better I need a better mounting uh, tripod for my GoPro uh, because when I'm doing stuff like this it's it's really hard for me to kind of like record certain things and have it stable at the same time I mean I will say that doing this is probably better to do it on an early like engine life so that way it gives you a better life like later on longevity wise but con you know considering that this engine is probably like at a hundred and almost eighty thousand miles it's a little late in the game but better late than never um, i figure that it'll still help from here going uh, forward anyways so yeah just throwing that out there as well it's probably better to do it earlier on rather than later so um let's go ahead and get to it all right, so first things first, in the instructions, it tells me that I need to remove this. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I believe these are two 10 millimeter bolts right here. And so let's take these off first. Now that we got that removed, it says next thing for us to do, uh, we gotta unhook this hose right here so we can get to these bolts. <clears throat> so we gotta unhook this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we gotta hook this right here so that way we can get to the two bolts. Well, this one's missing over here, but uh, that way we can get to the two bolts right under here. So go ahead and do that. I got it off. Pretty, pretty easy, just get a little flathead and poke it through up, up, on, up here where the plastic has it sticking. And now we expose this bolt right here, which seems to be a 10 or... No, that's uh, maybe like a 12 right there. So let's see here. Yeah, it's a 12 millimeter. And just take that bolt. And I believe, I believe they gave us a bolt to replace this one right here. That if you're missing it, I believe you can use this of what they gave you. Uh, in replacement, I gotta read the directions, uh, make sure that that's what they gave it to us for. Um, but let me go ahead and take off these bolts and uh, get to the next point. All right, ladies and gents. So <clears throat> right now, I took off uh, this 12 millimeter bolt from the intake manifold, which is this bolt right here. Like I said, we don't have this bolt on the right side, um, but in the instructions it says um so this is talking about positioning the uh metal uh bracket right here positioning it bending it a little bit to your necessity and then getting it in there but right here it also says tighten the right bolt close to the firewall with the m10 socket to fasten the ground blah blah, blah. so that's like the bolt that we don't have and it also says in parentheses if your is250 does not have this bolt please use the ma blah, blah bolt that was shipped with the kit which i would assume would be this bolt right here because i see no other use for this bolt um in the in the directions aside from that so we're going to be using that to replace what we just didn't have already so let me go ahead try to position this and get it in there and then uh, we'll move on to the next point, which would probably be like the hoses and uh, where to connect each one. Woo, okay. Um, well, that was definitely difficult. I thought I was gonna have to go ask for my cousin for a, a little bit of a hand, but uh, I ended up getting it. So uh, as you guys can see, it's bolted down and we use the bolt that they had given us to replace that one that was missing over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right under here, that bolt right there. So it's in there. I did bend it, 
this way before putting it in so that way it'd be a little bit easier for me to kind of like tie down like i said it's definitely difficult like this is not gonna let you like put it in so easily so i pushed it back try to bend it bend it back into position by pushing it forward this way um so now let's go ahead and read the instructions for the second part so second part wants us to disconnect the pcv valve hose and it says pull to disconnect yada yada so your pcv line is going to be on the left side of the canister and then it's going to be going fluently through to the intake manifold so i need to figure this out real quick and then once i do i'll get back to you guys right now so just give me a second after a little bit of struggling because i was kind of confused on like which hoses to use for what so obviously they give you a short and a long hose so i was pretty confused because i was thinking oh the long hose must connect to the intake manifold and uh, the short hose must connect to the pcv valve um, which i believe is the opposite so um what i did was i took the long hose um and i connected that to the pcv valve so this is now replacing the pcv valve hose right and so the pcv valve that was connected uh to the intake manifold i took that and i connected it with the short hose which is coming out from the right side and uh, they give you like this plastic connector which uh, obviously is to connect the two hoses together so now the right side is connected to the intake manifold and the left side is connected to the pcv valve that is something that nobody really explained in the videos that was and i'm pretty sure i know why it was if you're doing this by yourself it's it's for sure a little bit of a struggle uh, considering me i don't know what i'm doing half the time so it took me like a little bit longer so uh, i believe i have it connected right they don't give you these little clamps right here i decided to go ahead and put them on myself because uh i didn't want to risk any like uh any leakage any air leakage kind of getting through because then they'll shoot me a couple codes hopefully uh i still don't have any codes being shot to me once i turn on the car and uh see how it see how it runs um, but I do believe I got it set up right now to get into here uh, man. It was It was a struggle like low-key. I freaking like injured my hand a little bit I don't know if y'all can see that it was like a little boo-boo <gasps> But like it was definitely a struggle to get that on and off so <coughs> Just be aware of that look see I still got my cough you guys Jeez, I think I got it all squared away. I can see Here's the orange ball, and basically what they want you to do is one, every time it gets to like about halfway around here, they want you to kind of like just to go ahead and empty it. So you would just disconnect these two, take off these two hoses, which would be pretty easy since they're like just right here. And then you would unscrew this and then empty out the excess or the uh, old nasty residue. And I'll just drive it, you know, just for a little bit, a while up until I'll be able to kind of show you guys the difference in or what it actually is catching so um bear with me for that later on but yeah so obviously you could do it by yourself it does look pretty clean in there you can't really like notice too too much of it like kind of really being there let me throw this on real quick just to see how it looks i had to make sure that the other end of the hose in the back was connected to the intake manifold because i remember Last time I was messing with the PCV valve, I didn't check to see if that was actually connected and uh, it actually had messed me up. So this is what it looks like with the engine cover on there. It's right here on the side, perfectly installed. So what they want you to do in the, in the end with this piece that was once connected uh, to right here, as you can see, it's not connected anymore. They want you to just zip tie it to this. The, like this is gonna be its new home just right here now it's not gonna like hinder anything right here so i guess that's perfectly fine um it's not like there's anywhere else better to keep it uh i guess if you really wanted to i w i'm not i'm definitely not but if you really want to because you can kind of like cut that off 
you don't really need that anymore if you're gonna like keep this on forever but I'm gonna keep it on just in case you never know and I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this right now and then I should be officially done so um, let me go ahead and put everything back together start the car and uh, let's see how how it runs hopefully we don't get any codes so last thing I zip tied this down to its new home it's not going nowhere let's turn it on let's hope for no codes yeah If this is your first time to the channel you guys I've been having that light on for my headlights for the longest and that light because my work wheels do not al allow me to have any sensors but all in all it looks like it worked looks like it's doing good we don't got no check engine lights no codes being thrown at us I don't hear anything weird but I remember when I messed with the PCV valve the first time, man, it was a low key, low headache because um, I couldn't really figure out what it was. And it was just more or less like a, the hose, like I mentioned earlier, the hose in the back was like un, un, unplugged and I didn't even notice. <clears throat> but um, this is a successful install, people, that any of you guys can do on your own. To help you save you guys from carbon buildup on the IS250, uh, which will also help the longevity of the car and will also help with the you know the horsepower, so it doesn't like lack any of that or get too much uh, oil into the engine. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I was itching to throw that on you guys. I know I mentioned that in a couple of videos earlier. So I'm really happy that uh, I didn't mess anything up and I was able to do it all on my own. Oh yeah. Man, this car is filthy. I haven't washed this car in weeks. One, because I've been sick. Two, because I was working. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this real quick because uh, I think this car definitely deserves it. <laughs> Let's wash it. Alright you guys, so car is finally cleaned after a well needed cleaning. These wheels I haven't had for very long, right? So I didn't realize how much grime get kind of like just accumulates in these like lip area right here. But damn man, the details, right? So uh, glad I was able to finally get that cleaned because uh, it was like on each and every wheel. Um, but uh, anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and wrap this episode up i hope you guys enjoyed this install if you guys are looking to do this install and have any questions please don't be afraid to comment down below if you guys need any help or for whatever any questions you guys might have about the, the episode or whatever i just wanted to throw this out there really quick um if you guys are going to educate me on my terminology or how i might be doing things please do it in a positive way i personally do not mind being educated i don't know everything you guys um that is not what i'm trying to perceive to any of you guys that i know everything of what i'm doing because i always throw out there how i don't know what i'm doing but i just want to make that very clear that half the time i don't know what i'm doing but i'm still going to attempt to do some stuff because i you know want to challenge myself and uh, I think it's fun. This is what the channel is about. It's about the experiences, my mistakes, and my success. So, yeah, that going forward, I just want to throw that out there. Now, this is you guys' first time to the channel. Please, please be sure to like and subscribe. We're almost about to hit the 800 barrier, you guys. So, I greatly appreciate everybody that has been figuring out about, uh, about the channel and supporting. Uh, goes a long way. That's all I got for this episode, you guys. So, um, be sure to live long and prosper and i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you guys are safe it's all about longevity later Ooh.